A new feature called Playbooks was recently added to Jira Service Management. It took me a while to figure it out, but now that I understand a bit about it, I think it's a really useful addition. Let me show you what it is and explain why I think it's so useful. I think Playbooks are useful because it puts more information directly in the hands of our agents, the people working on tickets. In the past, I've done this in Confluence. I've built out a number of knowledge base articles that list how-to steps. This might be triaging a ticket, or how to solve a particular challenge, or even how to escalate it to a different team. Historically, I've had to put this in the knowledge base section on the right side of a ticket, and it's kind of hard for agents to find, and all it does is let them search through Confluence. This was useful because it gave them bigger access to it. However, it took them out of JIRA. It distracted them from their work. Playbooks, on the other hand, appear directly in the middle of their screen. So as they're reading their ticket, they can get an update on what steps they need to be taking. Playbooks also let us mix in both written documentation, how to do something, including links out to my existing Confluence information, but also automation steps. For example, they might read a step explaining how to triage a ticket, and then push a button that automatically changes the status, sends a comment, and takes other action for them. They no longer have to go up to the automations menu and remember which one to pick. For me, this is great because it reduces the chance that they'll miss a step or accidentally do the wrong thing. And I, as that project administrator or team member, can give them the guidance they need to solve challenges as close to the problem as I can get. Now, as of recording, playbooks offer two different types of information. The first is instructional and guidance, and this is just text. Think of it like a mini confluence page where you can put in steps or reminders on things to do. The other thing we can do is add in an automation step that when they push run will trigger a manual automation. This is the same as going to the automation menu, but it puts it in the middle of the page and puts it in context. So we can provide information about why they need to run that automation or what it does. Now, the biggest concern I had about playbooks is it will split where my documentation lives. I'll have Confluence for some things and playbooks for another, and that might make it hard to update. And that is true, and that is a valid concern. However, I've been finding that playbooks are much better for tactical information. Each individual project I help manage has its own way of operating or own specific needs that I could put in Confluence, but it makes much more sense to put information about them directly in the project. This way I can have standardized documentation in Confluence that I link into the playbook and very specific team guidance in each playbook in each project so those agents get the support they need. So now that we understand a bit about what playbooks are, let's jump into Jira Service Management Cloud Premium and see what they look like. Here I am in Jira Service Management Cloud Premium, and I'm just on some ticket. You can see right in the middle is a section called Playbooks. And when I open this up, I can see there's one called Ticket Triage. I can click on it to see the specific steps that are included in this playbook. For example, first I have to double check the fields, and I have some guidance from my team on how to do this. Next, I'll run an automation to add an internal comment, and I'll finish up by updating following fields. And I even have little checkboxes I can use to remind myself that I've done them. Now, if I need to run this playbook as an agent, I'll just read the instructions, and when I'm done, I just click Mark is done. And I can see that it's updated. Now, this is unique to this ticket. So if someone else were to come in and look at this, they would see one of three steps is done. This, for me, is another great advantage because it helps my team share work. If I have to step away, my teammate can come in and realize what I've done. They can even check the execution log to see when that step was accomplished and who accomplished it. My next step is an automation. In the past, I would have had to click up on the automation menu and look for the appropriate automation to run. Again, by placing it directly in the playbook, I put it in context. All I have to do is click run, and I can trust that this is the correct automation to perform. I can see it's recorded when it's happened, as well as its status, it's still going. And I can see here that that comment was added successfully. And the last step I have is to update other fields. And as I go through, I can make all these things happen and optionally check these little checkboxes. When I'm done, I just mark as done. Now, completing all the steps in the playbook doesn't change the status of the ticket necessarily. You could have an automation in there that does it, but it does record that these steps have been completed. I can go to the execution log and see what happened. And I can see here I had some failure on my automation. And so right away on the ticket, I can see what has happened. Before this, I might have to rely on something like ticket history or hope that my agents had commented. So this is how to use a playbook. They show up directly in the middle of a ticket and are accessible to agents. You can have multiple playbooks depending on what you need. And each one will record what's happened on it on the ticket itself.
So you can quickly come in and you can view this execution log to help uncover particular failures or to coach your agents and improve things. So now that we know what they look like, let's go build one. To build a new playbook, I just need to go to my project settings. And on the left, look for the playbooks menu. This will show me all the existing playbooks. And I can see here is the one we looked at earlier. And this is similar to automations where I can enable them or delete them from the more actions menu. Up at the top, I have the list of playbooks, but also the execution logs. Similar to an automation, it records every time the playbook was used and which step happened when. So this is something that I, as a manager, could go through and double check what's going on. Or if my agents are reporting things are breaking, I can go figure out which automations are having trouble and then go fix them. To make a new playbook, all I have to do is click on Create Playbook. Now this again will look similar to automations. On the left, I'll have a series of steps. And right now I have two options for steps, automation rules and instructional. On the right, I'll have information about the step that I've selected. So I'll give this step a name, and this might be add internal comment. And then I'll need to add a description. This for me is very important, so the agent has context about why they're doing this. I do have some options to edit. I have noticed that things like action items won't save, so if I check them off when I use them, they don't record. So some of these may not work as expected. I can, however, link in confluence pages or other tickets. So if I have a reference ticket that I want to show someone, I can include it. Or if I want to include information in Confluence, I very easily can. This for me is very important because Confluence should be my source of truth. The playbook just puts it in situ, in the situation it's needed. I do also have some elements or macros I can add. So I can make this a little bit nicer looking and a little bit more interactive if I need to. And I can also, if I'm using Loom, record a Loom video right in here to provide more information for my agents. Once I'm satisfied this step is done, I'll just click on Add Another Step. And I'll repeat this process. Maybe I'll add an instructional rule that will remind folks what to do from here. And maybe this step is about reviewing the ticket for prior comments or information from the team. And from here, I'll keep building out additional steps as I need. Maybe I have one more instructional step that reminds them of where to go in Confluence. Once I've completed building my playbook, I'll just click Create. And I'll have to give it some kind of name. In this case, I'm triaging it as it's an escalation. And you'll notice I have the ability to show it for specific work types. This is great because maybe different types of requests or different groups of people are handled differently. I need to understand this about my process, but this allows my team to get tailored information about the types of things they're working on. I can add additional conditions, further narrowing down when this particular playbook is displayed. This for me is very important because what I do will differ based on the type of ticket or the group that I'm working with. Now, if I go back to my list of playbooks, I'll see that new playbook. And if I go back to my ticket, I'll see that playbook available. You'll notice it just says three steps and if, because it's brand new and none of these steps have been done. So that is how to create a new playbook. There's a few more features though I want to walk through about playbooks to help you understand their usefulness and what they can do for us. The first is the execution log. We briefly looked at this, but every time the playbook is run, Jira will remember what step was done, when it was done, and who did it. And this includes additional information from automations you can set up automation rules to log information back to the playbook. This is helpful to understand who triggered it or what else might have happened. So if you start to notice some challenges with your automations, you can insert steps in the automation to feed information back to your playbook. This for me is incredibly useful so I can go and audit and help my team. Execution logs are also available in the playbook. So if I go to playbooks and project settings, I can open up execution logs and see every time they're run. As a manager, I want to make sure I'm monitoring this to make sure my team is supported and not running into too much failure. So those are playbooks in Jira service management. Personally, I'm excited to see how this feature is adopted and used because one of the biggest challenges that I see with agents is they just don't know what to do in some cases. They have a manual that they have to go get or they have to go into another system to find the information they need to solve that work item. Instead, having it right on the screen makes it very easy for them to get the help they need and to follow the process as it's been defined. One thing I could see groups doing is making too many playbooks though. So as you're exploring this feature, start with some very broad use cases, general triage, how to resolve a ticket, where to go for help. And then as your team realizes they need more support, start building more structured playbooks. But I'm curious what you think. What do you think about the feature? Is this a good direction to go? How does your team handle this kind of challenge? Agents needing to know what to do. Drop a line down in the comments. I always love to hear how groups operate or what you think of the feature. Also, 
Please like and subscribe. That helps me out, lets me know what you want to learn about, but also drop ideas what you want to learn about in the comments. I'll be happy to go chase them down. Thank you so much for learning with me, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of these again soon. Me again? Thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.